We have a lot going on in the readings in the readings from this week. Um, in the Old Testament, we have a story of exile and return. Um, we have a reminder that we are saved by grace and unconditional love. And then, of course, the gospel is full of a very poor message of salvation and eternal life. Um, as I shared in my Breath of the Spirit reflection um, this week, um, right now, a lot of my experiences are being shaped um, in the context of a recent experience where my partner and I um, recently had to um, put our beloved dog to sleep. Um, she was 13 years old, um, had an aggressive tumor, and we eventually made the decision to say goodbye on our own terms. Um, and as we're moving through that experience, um, it is coming up in the readings that I'm experiencing, the prayers that I'm having. Um, and so I think one very large um, piece of that is this sense of the unconditional love um, that we hear about in today's readings um, really shines through for anyone who's ever had the um, good fortune um, to be loved by a dog. Um, there are no experiences of exile when you have a dog in your life. Um, they're full of complete acceptance and love. Um, in dogs, there are no homophobia. There is no transphobia. Um, we are loved through grace and not through our works. Um, I opened with the Salve Regina um, tonight because of the power of the grief um, in this prayer. Um, it's really unflinching. We name these painful emotions, um, but not without the counterbalance of joy that comes um, through the Blessed Mother's um, love and grace. Um, really in this experience of Lent that leads to Easter, um, we're seeing that all loss um, often comes surrounded by goodness of some support um, or another. So a lot of times this has shown up for me in terms of community, um, often within the dignity community, within our LGBTQ community, um, many of whom have experienced similar losses and exiles of a variety of ways. Um, and in this experience too of loss, we are seeing the Lenten story um, that repeats itself again and again. Um, we have these traditions of telling the passages from Lent um, that lead then to Easter, right? Um, we know that the loss is coming and we sit in it anyway. Um, this was the type of anticipatory grief um, that my partner Lizzie and I experienced when we had to um, put our dog then to sleep. Um, and loving anyway in that moment. Um, I felt there was a real sacredness in that experience of waiting. Um, it was for me in many ways reminiscent of the Holy Thursday um, in the garden, knowing that this grief is coming and still being there sitting in it anyway. Um, I know many people have experienced great losses, um, often of loved ones, relatives, friends, um, knowing that this pain is coming and choosing still to sit in it, um, knowing that our salvation will come and that our life is eternal. Um, and it goes on much beyond um, this current plane that we have. In this own experience of loss for me, um, I also experienced a very deepened uh, love with my fiance. Um, there was something, as I mentioned, very sacred in those final hours of saying goodbye, of knowing this was the end, um, but still getting one nice last walk in the park, um, of having um, lots of good dog treats, right? Um, there was pain, but there was also peace, um, and it was everything that it needed to be in that moment and that experience. Um, in the gospel today, I think there is a really clear um, duality of light and of shadow, um, knowing the ways that we must be light to each other, um, the ways that my dog was able to be my light, my partner is my light, um, and we must light the way for each other and for ourselves, um, enjoying life with the enthusiasm um, of a dog that gives unconditional love, the love that we receive um, for ourselves in the church, um, that we may not receive in the church, I'm sorry, um, but in God and in our community here with dignity, um, and knowing that we must bring that then to each other as well. Um, so thank you all. Um, for that. And I'm really looking forward to hearing some of your thoughts related to this.